What's going on guys? It's OmniArk and today I'm bringing you a brand new video where we're going to be talking about the new leaked commanders as well as their skills that are coming soon to Rise of Kingdoms. Now I am excited to jump into this information and we have a lot to cover but there are two important things that we have to talk about first okay first and foremost huge shout out to the youtuber at last swagger he is a rise of kingdoms content creator he recently hit 10,000 subscribers he first covered this leak about three weeks ago and he recently made another video that got me very excited to talk about these new leaks and if it weren't for him I wouldn't be able to make this video so huge shout out to him guys please go to the link in the description drop him a sub he makes some great content so please go ahead and check him out the next announcement is that this is your final warning to join my free giveaway I'm giving away a hundred dollars in gift cards to you guys as a celebration for hitting 10,000 subs there will be a link in the description below where you can join this giveaway absolutely for free there will also be a link to a video where I describe exactly what you have to do to join if there's any confusion at all now let's jump right into these leaks right because I'm excited these leaks are shown on rockguides.ru this is a Russian rise of kingdoms website and the entire websites in Russian but luckily my web browser can translate it to English which is good it's not perfect but we can at least understand it better we can see a European ruler we also can see an Indian ruler and we also can see all of their skills as well as their expertise which is super exciting now this first commander is uh, apparently a French commander that's what people are speculating at the moment and we'll talk about that in a second but it seems that most people are thinking that this will either be Louis the ninth or Louis the eighth there's a couple of reasons for that I personally think that Louis the eighth is the highest probability because there's a lot of things that indicate that this is in fact Louis the eighth um, the reason that people think that this is a French commander is because behind him is this flag and that flag is uh, the fleur de lis I don't know if I pronounced that correctly but is it is a classic French symbol you can see this as the symbol of France actually in rise of kingdoms let me pull that up for you guys here but if you go over to your civilization change you can see right here that's the French symbol that rise of kingdoms uses and now it's worth noting that it looks a little bit different here than it does here right like the one in game is a little bit more rounded this one's a little bit more pointy so it's not exactly the same and so maybe it's not a French commander but I think without a doubt it, it the, the chances are very high that this is a French commander now before we go any further I do want to mention that it's saying that these are supposedly going to come out with the update 1.0.36 and that's the update that we're seeing very very soon Lilith sent a message out about this uh, a couple of days ago at this point and 1.0.36 is the summer of passion update so apparently these commanders are going to be at least in the game files on the 27th of July I don't know if the update's going to be pushed back a little bit that's totally a possibility but regardless we should be seeing these commanders relatively soon now let's talk a little bit more about louis the eighth right and let me zoom in on on him so you guys can get a better view of him this is a much clearer image than the one on the website obviously he's some sort of king he has a crown here we do see this spear with a flag we also see that with uh joan of arc if we go back to the uh, civilization menu you can see Joan of Arc also has a some sort of spear with a flag attached to it so very similar theme there and that would make sense if this is also a French commander now the reason that I think that this is Louis the eighth is because he is his nickname is the lion that's kind of what they called him and if we go down to his skills you can see his first skill has a lion in it so I think that the stars are aligning here I'm pretty sure that we can say that this is in fact Louis the eighth as one of our next commanders we're gonna talk more about his skills in just a minute but let's first move down to the second commander and this is an Indian commander apparently now a lot of people have been saying that this is Ashoka the Great this is a well-known Indian Emperor now I don't know that much about this historical figure admittedly I just did a quick Wikipedia search but Ashoka is associated with Buddhism and as you can see some of the skills down here you know we see meditation I think that that's a pretty reasonable link between the two it's also worth noting that the Wikipedia page has some of Ashoka's uh, inscriptions and one of them says that there's a restriction on killing of animals in the royal kitchen the number of animals killed was limited to two peacocks and a deer daily 
and we can see that the peacock is not only his expertise but he also has two peacocks right next to him in the image and we're actually going to zoom in on him a little bit for you guys uh let's zoom in on ashoka uh, we can see the two peacocks on both sides here. He also has what appears to be like a tree of life on his chest piece. I don't actually know exactly what that is, but that's kind of my best guess. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but apparently this story says that Ashoka at one point was provided a royal elephant as travel, and we can see an elephant right here in his skills as well. So I think that the case is kind of closed on this one. I'm pretty sure that this is Ashoka the Great. It's also worth noting that apparently the national bird for India is the Indian peafowl. So we can see peacock. I think that's another pretty good uh, example of evidence for this being not only an Indian commander, but Ashoka specifically. So I'm really excited for both of these commanders to be in the game. They both appear to be from what I would guess to be legendary commanders. That's my best guess. But really we have no idea until these actually come into the game but the fun part is actually speculating on what are these commanders going to do right what are they going to bring to the game how are they going to change the game and so what i want to do is talk about the skill logos that we have here now as i mentioned before the top row is for louis the eighth and the bottom row is for ashoka so let's go over louis the eighth first it looks like his primary skill is the one here with the lion on it this literally gives us no indication as to what this could be I personally think that it's going to be some sort of powerful buff for your army or your rally or something like that because it looks fierce it looks like a lion roar lions are known for being brave and charging into combat and just being powerful creatures right so some sort of buff but this doesn't give us too much information right anything else that i say is literally just speculation now it's worth noting that the background sort of looks like a circular shield maybe um i know last swagger mentioned that in his video this could be a shield or it could be just kind of like the background design i'm not really sure um having a shield on him would be interesting it's also worth noting that a lot of people are saying that they think these are going to be cavalry garrison commanders that's kind of like the word on the street that's not backed by literally anything i mean it's worth noting that we haven't seen those really i mean we have pelagius but besides that cavalry garrison could be interesting so if he is a cavalry garrison commander then a shield might make sense but really i'm not sure about this first skill this second skill definitely to me seems like a cavalry focused skill i mean he's riding a horse right he's riding a horse now that's not guaranteeing him being a cavalry commander because as we saw with uh genghis khan right we got to pull up genghis khan here genghis khan when he was first leaked everyone was like oh he's gonna be an archer commander because he's got a freaking bow but that obviously wasn't the case so we can't say for sure because sometimes these things are misleading when they're out of context but it seems to me like this is some sort of cavalry related skill so i imagine this would give you some sort of buff to your cavalry units whether it's maybe health if it's a garrison commander or attack it looks like he's in an, an attack position so this could actually be a buff maybe to rallies right if you if you are the leader of a rally potentially this will buff because it's worth noting there's also a, a horse behind him so he's not alone in this meaning maybe there's multiple armies that are getting a buff from this which would lead me to believe that believe that maybe uh he is a rally leader this third skill is really interesting very abstract it's literally a hand grabbing some sort of golden orb or some sort of like light and i think historically in rpg games when you are holding lights and as a as a buff usually that is a symbolic of of healing or of a blessing and typically blessings give you some sort of buff right and so this may potentially be some sort of healing skill which i think would be interesting especially if we're going along the lines of this being a a, a garrison leader right having some healing on there would make sense although historically we've seen healing on the wall is not that great so i don't know how that's gonna play out if it is actually healing his fourth skill here looks very very familiar and in fact if we go over to kusunoki kusunoki's fourth skill is very similar right it's called tragedies end and it's got that blood drop and honestly it looks almost identical except the background is a little bit different um so this is you know if we're going based off of uh kusunoki's skill he has a 10% chance to deal additional damage. So that would be sort of like a bleeding effect, right? We've seen this in other RPGs where if you hit them and they do a bleeding damage, that would be like they're taking damage over time. 
that's kind of what kusunoki's fourth skill is it's where that he does an additional damage factor over two seconds with a 10 percent chance of it happening so that could be the case here although i imagine if he is a legendary commander this late in the game if that's what this skill is it should be much more powerful than kusunoki's now his expertise looks similar to julius caesar's expertise icon as well as uh, and in fact i think it looks even more so like scipio africanus his uh for his expertise looks very very similar to the expertise we see here although the blade is golden and there's only one instead of three um it's kind of hard to say now because caesar and scipio have very different expertise but they are both powerful buffs to your own army and so i think that it wouldn't be a stretch to say that this expertise is going to make his first skill even more powerful that's my best guess here caesar's skill gives his army a ton of stats scipio's skill gives him double attack for a couple of seconds so those are along the lines of things that we could see with the expertise for louis the eighth now let's move on to ashoka skills his first skill and presumably his primary active skill has an image of what appears to be different wooden slats connected by a rope now i don't know what language this writing is in i assume it is a language that is predominantly in india or in indian history um, i i have no idea what this says to me uh, that might look like a code of laws or or perhaps it's his like inscriptions or his moral code I, I don't know what this is supposed to resemble but if it is some sort of list of things then potentially it's just going to buff your uh, buff your army we don't see anything here that could imply that it would deal damage right like i don't think that this would be symbolic of like an aoe skill attack or something like that i think that this skill is probably going to be uh specifically just buffing or debuffing or something like along those lines again that's very abstract i have no idea I i'm really jumping to conclusions here this second skill is his crown we can see this is the same sort of crown that he is wearing if we jump back to his image uh that looks literally identical to what we see here and in fact uh, i'm sure that that's what they were going for now it's worth noting behind him uh it looks to me like there's a face like there's there's an eye here there's an eye here it looks like these could be tusks coming out like this coming down this coming down to me this looks like a crown and the background looks kind of like an elephant we can already see an elephant in one of the other skills so perhaps he will be channeling the power of an elephant through this skill meaning dam dealing damage maybe sort of like uh, alexander's second skill where if he's attacked he deals a damage factor because it's unlikely that we'll see it on his first skill so potentially we see it on his second skill but uh, again this is just a crown right this this literally could be could be nothing i mean we see sunduk has a crown and she's a gathering commander so literally again jumping the conclusions here but it's fun to speculate and um it's also worth noting that as a king he may be a rally leader potentially right i mean leading into leading your armies into battle is that not what kings do i don't know um but again that's that's some sort of what i'm looking at here now his third skill shows some sort of lotus flower in the background and somebody is obviously sitting there in doing some seated meditation he's known for uh for you know buddhism so uh, this makes a lot of sense now if we think about what would meditation do in a in an rpg sense well you know people meditate to clear the mind and so my first guess would be this might be a removal of some debuffs right i think that would totally make sense logically um however it could also people do meditation for health benefits so it could buff your health it also could provide you with some sort of just general buffs to your army or to your stats but i personally am going to go with that this is probably going to remove some debuffs that's my best guess uh that's just what first comes to mind to, for me when i think of what would meditation do in a statistical way in an rpg right his fourth skill shows an elephant roaring and charging and we've seen that on hannibal barca however this is not his active skill so i don't know exactly how that would work i don't think that they would just copy and paste barca's skill i i think that this is something totally different when i think of elephants i think of very tanky animals right like elephants are massive they have tough skin and they're very difficult to kill so elephants are very powerful and tanky and i think that the skill here is probably what we're gonna see 
uh, that's probably what's going to happen with this army and again if this is a garrison commander that would make a lot of sense to have an elephant be the symbol of a garrison right because again they're just huge powerful and difficult to kill and finally we have a expertise with a peacock symbol now this is the exact same color scheme as the third skill so potentially this is going to buff the effectiveness of that third skill i mean the color schemes are indistinguishable the other skills are all gold and yellow and orange so i think that that's a, a pretty obvious thing there i think his third skill is going to get buffed by this expertise I'm not well versed on like the what peacocks are associated with like their symbols of i don't really know what peacocks are known for so it's hard for me to speculate but i think that pretty much we can we can say that it's going to be buffing this third skill and if this is based on removing debuffs healing buffing your stats i think that this is just going to amplify that effectiveness or potentially if it's an aoe buff it will be a greater aoe area or maybe it applies to more armies i'm not sure but i'm excited man i i want to see these commanders in the game i want to see what they do i want to see if we are getting some cavalry garrison commanders now it's worth noting that I don't know why Ashoka would be a cavalry commander, right? I mean, like, obviously he could be, but we're not seeing anything cavalry related in this in this skill lineup and honestly pretty much every single cavalry commander has a horse somewhere in their skills except for like belisarius and takeda but takeda doesn't because obviously his skills follow like an art pattern uh, it's hard to say but i don't know i'm just not getting cavalry vibes from ashoka's skills here so we'll have to wait and see we'll, we'll see what exactly he does it would be interesting if he was a garrison commander because we already saw we, we just saw them put some garrison commanders in the game so i don't really know what to think but i doubt they would put more garrison commanders in right after right anyway final thing i want to note is that we're getting an indian commander here are we going to see maybe an indian civilization in the near future i saw a lot of you guys comment on my previous video saying that india would be an awesome uh civilization to see in the game and i think that maybe potentially with the uh, game and going with the game going in that direction as far as commanders we could potentially see india as a civilization in the future again pure speculation there's no data to support that but i think that would be really cool and i think that a lot of you guys would be really happy with that being said guys if you made it all the way to the end of the video make sure you drop a thumbs up on it it really does help my channel out a ton if you're new around here subscribe and click that bell to be notified the next time i upload a rise of kingdoms video of course please comment down below all of your opinions and all of your speculations about these new commanders i would love to discuss it with you guys in the comment section below as always my links to my social media accounts are in the description below as well as my twitch where i do stream rise of kingdoms every single week and my discord where you can reach out to me ask me questions and kind of join that little community i have over there one last reminder giveaway is still going on click the link in the description to join and with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omniarch i will talk to you guys again soon peace